Now we will see how Bohr described the atom. In 1913, Niels Bohr gave a new arrangement of electrons in an atom. He said that an atom is made up of three particles, namely electrons, protons and neutrons. He also said that all these have different charges. Electrons are negatively charged, protons are positively charged and neutrons are neutral. He proposed that the atom is electrically neutral with equal number of protons and electrons. According to him, there is no change in the energy of electrons as long as they revolve in the same orbit and remain stable. But if an electron gains energy, it jumps to a higher energy level and if it loses energy, it falls to a lower energy level. These electrons revolve around the nucleus in well-defined fixed orbits which he called as energy levels or shells. He even represented these orbits by numbers 1, 2, 3, so on or by letters K, L, M and O. And these numbers are counted from nucleus outwards. According to him, there is a limit to the number of electrons each energy level can hold. Here you can see in the figure, this is the nucleus and the shells outward to the nucleus are K, L, M and N shells or 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is the K shell. It can hold a maximum of 2 electrons and L shell can hold a maximum of 8 electrons and M shell can hold a maximum of 18 electrons and the outermost shell which is the N shell can hold a maximum of 32 electrons. Finally, he told that the mass of the atom is mainly due to the nucleus because the mass of electrons is negligible.